I'm going to rip this sheet up into four 12 inch rips. This sheet is what we took the bow pieces out when we did the sides. This is the 3 8 So those pieces I rip up, I'm going to use those to make bulkheads under the seats, which is going to provide a little dry storage and tie the sides to the bottom. Later I ripped these four pieces to 11 and 3 quarters on my table saw. So these are the bulkheads I'm talking about. I'm going to put a seat right in the middle of this rib and another one here, bench seat going across, 16 inches wide. And it's going to be supported across by that 3 quarter plywood, 9 mil. Uh, I just made up a template here with some push pins and uh, so I can have a bulkhead going right across here and I'm just keeping that equal distance six and a half to the this outside of it on both sides from this rib let me uh, put this on the plywood and cut one out. Start with the biggest first. So I'm starting with my uh, the smaller piece of wood first. And I just um, line that up with the bottom. And traced it out. And now I'll uh, chop it up. From my pattern, I made my bulkhead. Took a little trial and error. Well, let's just say it took a little fitting. So that's going to go across like that. I created a big cutout to let water run through. I'll do that to all these. I have a notch in the side where that seat rise is going to go. That's going to be right in there. And I'm going to make another one that's about the same size. I don't have to make another pattern. I can just bring that over. And the seat's going to be 16 inches wide and it's going to go across. Uh, you don't have to make these bulkheads. Thousands of boats have been built with just uh, a plank going across there. A 2x12 or something like that for a seat. But uh, I'm going to create two of these. And on the face of this one, I'm going to make a big cutout. So you can put some gear inside there. It won't be dry, but it'll just be... Uh, Little, little sheltered. So, this one's just about fits here. Just needs maybe a little belt sanding. I'll copy this, make a second one. We'll move up to those. 
So I got this bulkhead installed, no problem. It was very similar to the other one. I just used that for a pattern. Shaved a little bit off of it. Just around that corner over. Thumbtacks at the right spot. Don't stick your finger. Good job. Alright, that looks like something I can work with. So I got my four bulkheads dry fitted. Now I'm just uh, made up a pattern. I just want to see what it looks like with a big cutout made out of those. So I think I'll go ahead and cut one here and one in the front one. So these bulkheads are just tacked in here with some hot glue and I'm templating for the seat top. So first of all, when I make my template, I want it raised up. This is going to be the top of the seat height. So that's where I want to take my template from and then it'll be cut down at an angle. So I just cut a notch in this plastic here to fit around the rib.
Good. All right, get another template made. Take this outside, put it on my plywood. So that's all I got time for today. Next time, we'll continue on the seats.